What is he doing? Uh, car Bandicock. Like, come on, man. Aim upward. It's not that hard to aim upward. Like, is it that hard to aim upward to that box? We still didn't get it. Can you, like, jump and shoot at the same time? Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 7 of Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex for the Sony PlayStation 2. So, I had to take uh, a long break to fix this game because levels like Droid Void were just graphically glitched. So, we're gonna be doing, let's see, we'll do... How about Crash Droids in this episode first, just to change things up. I forget what the boss's name is here. Is there a draft in here? Also, yeah, you'll notice that the graphics are severely changed because that's what was causing the issues. Was I can enhance the graphics so it looks like a way better game, but at the same time, it just gets busted. Space stations that are ready to strike the planet. Use the lasers on your ship to destroy them. Okay, these are lasers and not. Oh, I guess technically I have to destroy boxes here too. I almost forgot what game I was playing. So you have to destroy like these weird sea thingies around the uh um oh, what you call it. Around the satellites to actually break into the satellite. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to destroy the satellite. And there's only three satellites though, so it's actually a really short level. Oh, I love how I'm almost dead because I got hit by like a bajillion things all at once. Also, why is that off center? That was just weird. Can you stop hitting me? Are you serious? They just suicided into me. Like, who designed this level? Coco. 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 I don't need to hear you say the same thing every time I load into the level. This is like Spyro all over again where the game was just busted. And just wouldn't let me do anything because the game was just poo. No, stop suiciding into me, please. The whole spin thing in this game too, like the the whole barrel roll, just doesn't really work too well. Plus, it's hard to tell what's going on because everything looks the same color. And that guy literally just suicide bombed me again. Also, why was that not destroying that boss? Did you see that? Wait, what? I just instantly died. I'm so confused with why I died there. I don't think that I was supposed to be an insta-kill, but... And I'm already dead. Like, I'm already freaking boned. Just because the game is just like, yeah, how about... How about we'll let enemies suicide you with, like... Okay, they're shooting me off screen when I can't even see them yet. Like, like where are the enemies half the time? Also, why is that health box whatever then? Also, why are my missiles not centered or my uh, shots not centered? It's super annoying. Oh my god! Thank you. You destroyed him before he hit you. You're, you're a genius there, game. Great. Now they're just targeting me with from behind, like they're annoying buttheads. Oh my god, how long does it actually take to destroy one of those things? That's ridiculous. Okay, after that one, I think we almost... We almost got them all, which is good. Okay. Oh. Hang on, there's a lot. Oh, no, that's not the last two. We need one more after that. And I'm not entirely sure where they are. Also, those things can apparently destroy those asteroids themselves. Also, wait, why is it called Crash Droids if it's... has nothing to do with Crash? The game does realize that's the whole point of it, right? Is to be Crash. And that's why the things are named Crash anyway. Oh, it's a health box. Nice. Okay, there we go. That should be the gem now. There we go. 
Can you enemy ships please leave me alone? There now, can I just destroy this? There we go, we did it, thank god. That's annoying. Like in all honesty, that's that's just ridiculous. Super short level, not too bad, but with all the sound effects and everything going on, it's just ridiculous. Boop. There, eat Crash's butt, Coco. Because uh, Crash is the star of this show. Nice. I don't know why he gets to do the little jump, but whatever. Uh, we'll do Coral Canyon. I think it fixes the issue with the, the water level's graphical glitches, too. I didn't even check. Was there a second gem here? No, I'm thinking of Crash 3. I love how this is technically Crash 4, but not Crash 4. Alright, so we have... Um... What, 84 boxes? 85 boxes. Not too bad, I guess. But, you know, whatever. Oh, there's like these weird inky things down there that uh, come up and grab you. Alrighty. Don't want to die by the mine, so thank you very much. The worst part about these levels are those stupid mines and like... Like, how sometimes you just can't see them. Like that one, for example. So that jellyfish looks like it'd be an enemy, so I don't know. I heard a metal crate in the background. You know what, I'm gonna destroy you though, because I can. Oh, maybe I'm just, like, hitting Wumpa Fruit or something. I don't know what that sound effect is, actually, now that I think about it. Alright, sorry, Mr. Mine, but you gotta go. So did that destroy everything in there? Good. We're, like, already a quarter... We're more than a quarter of the way done the boxes, so that's pretty good. Just, I have no idea where a checkpoint is, though. That's concerning. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, thank god. Alright, thank you very much. Hey, at least we got a Woonga guy. I didn't even know you could get the masks in this uh, in the underwater levels, honestly. Wait, is that just gonna say that there's no checkpoints in this level at all? Okay, I heard you beeping. You just gotta really pay attention to the beeping sound. Oh, there was a checkpoint, thank god. I was beginning to wonder if they even existed in this level at all. Um, where'd that Huntail come from? It just, like, showed up out of nowhere. Also, how come they don't destroy the Nitro, but... Also, apparently I didn't destroy that one either. Like, what the heck is my blast radius on that bomb? The fact that you gotta play, like, these levels, like, really slow is just ridiculously sad. And get tentacled. And that hunt tail got me again because for some reason my shots just don't hit it for whatever reason. Just kill it already. Kill it. There you go. Oh, that wasn't even him. That was a box that we had destroyed. So how that one went off there? Weird. Alright, that time we destroyed that without having to, uh... Big ol' angler fish, I guess. And I got tentacled again. Ooh, lordy. I don't like this level already. We know once we get to this nitro, there's gonna be a mine that we can obviously see, too, at the top of the screen. I got this big chungus. Now, where was that tentacle down here again? Mm, I went too high up to avoid the tentacle, and a mine came and struck me down like the hand of God. Oh, now this game's having slow down too. Great, just like, just like Spyro. Man, I'm I'm beginning to really despise this game now. Wait, there's more than one Nitro here? I've never even noticed that before, because like we're always destroying them off screen. Um, are you serious? Why does it like refuse to hit that one Nitro? Is 
Okay, there's a fish down there. I don't really want to deal with it. Okay, tentacle freak. Come on up. There we go. There we go. Tentacle freak number three, four, five, and six dead. I love how I'm just slowly destroying all these boxes off screen without, like, ever actually seeing them. Just because that's what I'm doing. Really? That's a mind challenge? Really? I can see that one right there, game. Well, at least I got a life for all my deaths. That's nice. Where are the checkpoints in this level, man? Wait, I hate that the Wumper Fruit can take hits. Oh, finally. Wait, when did I get Aku Aku again? Also, what the heck is a checkpoint? Wait, did that part count as a checkpoint or something? Oh, that's a checkpoint. Jesus Christ, these... Oh, I guess I destroyed it all by accident, though. Wait, that touched me? Man, the hitbox on that was weird. I really need a different controller at this point. Man, I'm sucking. And I'm not even that bad at Crash. I'm not great at Crash, but I'm not bad at Crash. Now, don't don't let me get killed by a jellyfish again, please. Oh, there's that lionfish again. I was about to say, like, is there even any, like, boxes or anything? Why does it, like, do that? It, like, the momentum is so weird in this level. Okay, there's a mine. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Uh, oh, wait a second. That's not even a secret. That's just, like, where we're supposed to go. And I guess there's just a hole over here. That's also not at all what you're supposed to do, game. Wait, what's over here? That's, I guess, the way we're supposed to go. Then what the heck is over here? Oh, it's just a bunch of boxes and a bunch of lives and a Aku Aku again. Now, I know a bunch of those boxes were Nitro in the one part where we first start off as Crash, so that's a thing. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. And I take damage from him. That's how I'm going to take damage. I wonder if they put the boxes back here or not. No. Sadly, now we don't have our Aku Aku, which sucks, but whatever. Whoa, yeah, I forgot about the Huntail dude there. How do I even... How am I supposed to do that exactly? Am I just supposed to... Maybe I'm just supposed to, like, Death Tornado spin through it. That is also not what was supposed to happen there. But I wonder if I can... How long can I keep this going on for? Or, or, never mind, that also works. It's not at all what I was trying to do. Thank you. Don't want to die to that random stupid enemy. Like, that wasn't even like a... Mm, the momentum when you try and turn is a huge downside in these uh, Crash Bandicoot games. And then I'll take damage there again, because why not? I really, I really don't get how you're exactly supposed to deal with that part of the level, though. Oh my goodness. There we go, we made it through. Woo. Oh, thank god there's a checkpoint, like, right there. Wait, you can kill the jellyfish? Really? Wait, why do I hear the exit? And... Instead of when I was clicking square, instead of actually spinning, even though we have the death tornado spin now, he just straight up didn't do anything. Well, good thing I know now that I can spin through those enemies. 
Oh, the momentum that you gain from that is so weird. Like, you know. Oh, I think it's underneath us. The perspective is just really weird. Oh, and we actually got everything here. Nice. I got another 100% in a level that I'm not a big fan of. But now we only have, what, one level left here? So that's good. I don't know if I'm going to do a relic run. You guys can comment if you want me to do a relic run. Otherwise, I'll probably just do a basic run of this game. Alright, next we have a Droid Void. So let's go and do this one. Not used to the weather here, I a wimp. Um, what weather? We were in an underwater level, a space level, um... There's one weather level. This level's an inside freaking space station level, so I don't know what you're talking about. We have 169 boxes. Oh yeah, we have the double jump, which, honestly, with these last couple of levels, you don't even really get to use all your power-ups, because, well, the game is just like, also, why do you need this? Yeah, this is the part of this game that I don't like, because for whatever reason, they decided to make the climbing, like, physics really slow. Which is something that I really wish they didn't do in this. Because let's be real, it's just bad. It is not even enjoyable. And there's a section up here too where it gets really, really stupid. Also, can you like hurry up? Also, the fact that you can kind of like cheese these enemies too just by crawling along the side of them is just really weird. Uh, can we hurry up so that box doesn't turn into, um, steel? Like, see how close it was to actually changing? That's ridiculous, just because the climbing physics in this game are terrible. Okay, so we need to go up above first. But we need to wait for that electricity to disappear. And what you want to do is wait for that. And then we can break this box while waiting. I guess that works too. Oh my goodness. The spark can also get really ridiculous because of this section right here. Where you can actually be electrocuted off this and die. Which I think is really stupid. But anyways, there we go. We got the... the bonus game. Only 19 out of 169 boxes, by the way. Which is not looking so good. At least the music here is good. I'll give it that. The music is pretty good. Yeah, yeet. Oh yeah, look, guys. We get to use... Why did I do that? I was going to say, look, we have to use that one power-up that nobody likes, that they just added into this game because they needed a different power-up. Just to be, I guess, different. It's kind of like the wing shield from the two Spyro games I've been playing. They're kind of just... It, they're kind of power-ups that you just look at and go, well, they didn't need to exist, but they do anyway. Now. There we go. Do, 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 do. Alrighty. More tidy than some whiteies. Now the rest of them should just be those nitro crate over there. So there's obviously going to be a nitro switch somewhere in the level, which is good to know. We only have 39 out of 169. That's not looking so good. All right, needed a drink, and apparently you can't do that. Yeah, and this is the part where the visual bug would happen if you were playing on the better graphics. Now, I do believe, yes, you do have, wait, why is it, why, why won't it let me target that box up there? Okay, I'm so confused. And thing is, like, you can't just, uh, is there, hang on, is there a way I can change the, 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 
there is no camera option, so how do I get this to move? Because up is down. Or down is up. Why did it go to like the box for like a brief second and then not? There we go. Oh my god. I'm just gonna run past them because at this rate, that's just ridiculous. Where's my reticle? Like, I don't even have a reticle. It's just ridiculous at this point. Oh yeah, and for these, you just have to do the jump thing on them. Yay, jump thing. There we go, you're dead. You're dead. I wonder if it like homes in, because it seems to work better when I just hold down the button. Because then it seems to like lock onto the enemy, so that's good. Also, make sure you're holding down the analog stick when you're moving, because uh, that way you don't just do the, the high jump and then that's it. Also, that looks like that would hurt you, but I don't think it does. Can't even see the enemy. I wonder if that's why I can't target certain ones either. Just because, like, they're not technically on screen. Also, where the heck are the checkpoints in this world? So, who cares about the nipple robot there? Oh, okay. That was a very delayed death. Oh, this looks intimidatingly interesting. Well, it was until they're all dead now, but sure. Also, I wonder where the, the checkpoint here would be. Also, do these enemies even do anything other than just go back and forth to their computers? Like, are they even enemies at this point that we're killing in this level? They don't really seem to be doing anything. Sorry, Mr. Robot. You guys just seem to be doing your jobs, but we're just killing you anyway, because Crash is a murderer. I actually have no idea, like, if... Because, like, it'll say that I'm locked on, and then not be locked on at the same time, and it's just really weird. I can't even tell what the heck I was shooting there, but I was shooting something nonetheless. Like, I can't see the reticle. Oh, I think I killed them all. Nice. Uh, apparently that hit it, even though it didn't look like it did, but... Okay, so we need the purple gem to get the other gem platform here, and we know it's just gonna be Nitro. So... That means for a fact, we can technically finish everything here in Jesus Christ game. Don't don't do that to me with with enemies like that close. Cuz you know there's nothing I can do about that. There we go. Goodbye Nitro. Goodbye little robot man. Oh, there's a box up top. Go aim upward. Which, is it because I'm not looking? I wonder if... I wonder how the heck I'm supposed to get that, because like... It doesn't let me look up that high. Well, I wonder if it's because I have to go like back here. Okay, apparently I'm too angled to the side. Oh, I think I have it, just... Uh, let's see here. This is not... This is not a very convenient game. Oh. 
Also, I let go of the square button, which is supposed to fire, right? But it didn't do anything. Okay, so that way is that way. Um. Crash Band of Fort Face. Like, what is he even doing half the time? Like, down. Gone. I'm gonna break my teeth trying to freaking get him to even fire his stupid gun once. Wow, that didn't even. Fire in the hole, Crash Freak Face. Like, what is he doing? Like, why is he aiming to the side? That's not even, like, remotely where I'm aiming half the time, and he still does it anyway. Okay, with- over here we should- can you stop- That was, like, right behind it. What are you talking about, game? Why does it keep going, like, right behind it? Why does it always end up behind it like that? What are you doing? Oh my god, like, how do I get this? Ten minutes in one level. What is he doing? A car bandicock. Like, come on, man. Aim upward. It's not that hard to aim upward. Like, is it that hard to aim upward to that box? We still didn't get it. Can you, like, jump and shoot at the same time? No. Like, why is it the angle is always right there? Like, the, no matter where I aim, the angle is always in that exact same spot. There we go. Jesus Christ. Now watch me die just because the game was like, nah, you got it? How about no? Come on, nipple robot. Just blow up already, please. Oh, and if I didn't get that gem, I was about to be pee up. Well, luckily we're technically done. I don't even know where that enemy technically is. I love how it's not even a life anymore. Oh, goodbye. Well, we beat it, so yay. And we can't even get the uh, other gem for one. That level is way too long of a level to warrant needing, um, two gems. Like, let's be real. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for no notifications, join the Discord and the Patreon link below. In the next episode, we'll be doing Atmospheric Pressure. Bye-bye.